Hey friends, Rick from BCW Supplies, and we're back again today for the third part of getting into flesh and blood. In this episode, we're gonna open up our first box of Arcane Rising and see what kind of pulls we have. I do wanna apologize about part two. The lighting issue that was on the cards was 100% my fault, as it was the first box opening for flesh and blood that I've done, and utilizing new equipment and new lighting I did have a bad glare on the cards, but hopefully you saw the amazing pull that came out of that video. If you haven't already watched it, go back and check it out. Opening the packs was a little rough and we did fast forward through a lot of it in order to get to the amazing moment. Just like last time, we will be utilizing the same BCW modular sorting tray in order to sort our cards as we open the packs. Again, we will be sorting by rarity, so common, rare, super rare, majestic, legendary, fabled, and then we have one slot for our tokens and one slot for the premium pack foil that you can receive. I do also, once again, have the two modular sorting tray cells in the storage position that we will be utilizing for the overflow of commons as we open it. Okay, here we go with the top-down view and better lighting than last time. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our sealed box of Arcane Rising for Flesh and Blood by Legend Story Studios. Again, we're just using the straight edge to cut away the cellophane. Not needed at all. Just when working around cameras and lights and everything like that. And it's on video. We want it to be super easy and simple. All right, let's give this box an open. Here are our 24 packs of flesh and blood. Like so. Move the box out of the way. All right, let's begin. Now I'm moving seven cards because from what I've read online, all the commons will now be on the front and the last three cards will be the two rares and the premium foil. Uh, we have, uh, again, like it didn't come through in the last video uh, because of the glare issue, but here you can see this gray circle with a C. That is how you denote a common. Uh, and again, here we have the uh, type of card that it is. So this is a hero specific card. Uh, and then we have some generic cards. So common, 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 common. And then the generic actions actually say generic, still a common. And we get to our first piece of equipment that is generic. Uh, and again, this is the last common. The next three cards after this will be our two rare slots and our premium foil will be the last card. So first rare, and again, you can tell the rares uh, based on the dot here, uh, and it'll have a letter in it, the blue dot and the R means a rare. And when we, first pack, we got a super rare and it's got a purple dot with the letter S in it. And then our foil, uh, the Eye of Odefia. I don't believe this, but this is, I believe, a fabled. I'll have to look into this card, but this may be <laughs> another extremely rare card opened up. our token, and again, this is the uh, standard hero, and then this is the young hero used for Blitz. These tokens are typically used for uh, sealed format uh, or draft, but since you can't get starter decks right now, uh, this is the way that you get these characters for your collection. Again, common. A 
the null robe, null rune robe, uh, common generic equipment, rare, rare, and then a foil common denoted by the C and the foil on the card. Well, here we are at the wrap up and what an amazing box. We have 42 rare cards. We have four foil rare cards, bringing that total up to 46 rares. We have four super rares and one foil super rare, bringing that up to five super rares out of the box. We got two majestics. And of course, the first pack we opened in the box opening, we did pull the fabled rare Eye of Odyphia from Arcane Rising. This has just been an insane, unbelievable two box openings, two fabled rares. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please come back for part four where we open up a box of flesh and blood, Monarch, and see if our luck continues. Until next time, this is Rick with BCW Supplies, recommending that you plug in with us on social media, at, on Facebook and on Twitter, as we do have some flesh and blood giveaways coming up. So if this is a game for you, make sure that you're following us to see all the contests and giveaways that we have coming up. Until next time, remember when it comes to protecting, storing, or displaying your hobbies or collectibles, BCW has you covered.